No person likes to feel powerless. And when you have achieved things in life that have given you some measure of agency over your life, agency over the lives of others, most of you have a lot of people who count on you. When you can come in and finally talk about those things, it is a huge relief. You know what happens in that environment when you can be in a place with people that you don't know yet, but they get you? There's peace. There's a relief. There's a big exhale. Finally, I can talk about this stuff. And they get it. That is so healing for our brain, for our body, for our nervous system, to finally feel that sense of connection, to understand that you have coaches who are so passionate and educated around this stuff that you can trust them. You don't have to figure out the plan. We've got it for you. You don't have to create the solution or the methodology. We've got you. What would it feel like to say, all right, I'm here, coach me, show me what to do. Because guess what? Everybody in our community is still doing their regular thing. They've got their jobs. They've got their community obligations. They have family obligations. They're often trying to repair family situations. They don't have the desire or the time or the energy to waste again trying to find the solution to their drinking thing. We've got it for you. And if you've heard it on other episodes, it is proven. Our scientific study with the University of Washington observed 160 plus members go through this methodology. They followed our plan, coaching calls, showing up, community, allowing themselves to be seen and knowing others, learning to listen to others, have that compassion and empathy, and opening up and sharing their wins and challenges with others. You know, people aren't asking you, high achievers, how are you doing really, are they? No, they're coming to you wanting to know how to solve a problem. (laughs) And so these are a bunch of high achievers asking each other, how are you really? And giving honest answers. And then finally, accountability. It's kind of wild, isn't it? When you are a high achiever and a leader and the one who is the organizer, the planner, the fixer, the resolver, the cleanup, all those things. It's not uncommon that we're not accountable to many people. And that can lead to behavior that we don't like, especially when it comes to drinking. Because our job is to keep an eye on everyone else. No one is really keeping an eye on us. And so Believe it or not, people who come into this program, they are craving accountability. They're tired of of trying to run their whole life and fix this alcohol thing and getting away with it. They're tired of getting away with it because their life still looks good on the outside. They're like, man, I keep getting away with it and and I'm going to keep doing that, but I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being inauthentic. I'm sick of not living according to my values. I'm tired of it. And so what's great in in Project 90 is we have a whole team looking out for you. When you join, you commit to being a part of Project 90. That is a big deal because again, this isn't a program where you just click a button and join. This is a process. When you are invited in, it's because we see those things in you. We see that you're struggling. We see that you are within this realm of care that we can provide. And we see that you're willing. So it's a very serious decision when we invite you in. And that comes with a commitment from our side and from you. An expectation that we're working together. And so if you don't show up, which can happen because you guys love to be busy, or you might get really uncomfortable and you don't feel like showing up. We are there, reaching out, supporting you. Hey, we haven't seen you in a few days. What's going on? How can we help support you? How can we help you ensure that you're on your calls, that you're meeting the other members? How can we support you? What a concept for all of those hard-headed, 
self-starting overachievers out there to allow someone else to support you. Feels a little awkward, I know, but man, does it feel good, especially when you're surrounded with the right people. That's the key.